Got something in a bag, something in a bag, something in a box. Don't really know. All I know is that there's got to be something cool in here. Something cool. You know what it is because it's in the title. I have no idea. Let's crack it open, shall we? Right after this. Seems like something that is easy for me to uh, screw up, actually. Let's. Don't like. Appreciate. I appreciate the amount of effort went into taping this box. Well, come on now. That's ri just, just ridiculous. Please be a boxy in a box, because if not, I've pretty much torn right through this top one. Okay, bubble wrap. Bubble wrap is good, because that makes it that makes it all protected and safe. So, ready? I'll put it up here so you guys can watch the unveiling. New microphone. Microphone. That's cool. So this is the Mayono premium USB microphone. Let's crack it open and see what's inside, shall we? All right, so I ran downstairs to get my computer because I'm pretty sure this is gonna be a pretty important part of testing this microphone, but before we do, let's actually crack this open, shall we? Crack it open and see what's in it. So I'm gonna put it here, I'm gonna widen the lens out here so you can actually see me. So that's this way, let's do a little tilt down, hopefully. So there you go, right there. What's in this? Let's tilt that a bit more, maybe. There we go. You guys see me? I'll just kind of scooch. So, this is the Mayono Fairy. So, it's called the Fairy. It's a studio in your pocket. All right, so let's crack it open, shall we? See what's in the box. Slide that off. It's a nice box so far. One of these opens. This. Ooh, I like the black. Black is nice. Here it is. So, on the back, you have two things. So, I'll bring this up close for you guys. Number one is, hopefully you can see this, is the two different audio patterns you can choose from, as well as your headphone jack. On the front, you have the microphone power, as well as your headphone volume. Very cool. Now, the other thing that's cool about this is that it comes with its own kind of little stand. So, if I were to move this just for a second, I could actually sit that right there on the table, which is kind of nice. All right, what else is in this box? So, more foam. Foam is always good. I'm going to tilt the camera back up. Okay, hold on. There we go. Okay, so, not quite. There we go. All right, so we have some cables. So, we have... Uh, USB-C to USB and USB-C to USB-C as well as a base plate as well as the little stand I'm guessing that will fit in the base plate and two things a little manual which is excellent throw that there and a little bag excellent love it love it love it give me two secs and I am going to put this together this should well this should be easy just real fast this is going to screw in here, and this, just so you guys can see, there's it's on the feet. One has nothing, one has something. This is the one that you would screw the leg into, because if not, it ain't going to work. That goes in like so. Voila. Okay, I'm going to plug this in, and we're going to try a mic test. Okay, so the first test that we're going to do today is that we are going to actually open up good old Final Cut, and I'm gonna do a simple import. We're gonna use this video, but we're gonna use the audio that I grab from the computer here. All right, so we're gonna to switch to the computer's audio right now. So in about three seconds, ready? Import. Okay, so this is just the audio that you would be getting from a computer. So this is just using the standard computer microphone that's plugged in, especially off the MacBook and you guys will be able to tell really fast if it sounds any good at all. Now just for comparison, normally, 
and I'll switch back. You're hearing the audio off of a Comica. Uh, I think it's the 30, I can't remember the beginning part of it, uh, light. So it's their camera powered shotgun microphone. So I'm gonna pause this for a second. And we're gonna do the exact same thing here, but we're gonna use this new fairy microphone. One sec. Okay, so this is a nice simple plug-in would be my guess. So this is just gonna slide in the back, USB-C, so it only goes in one direction. We're gonna get this fairly close. I'm gonna put it in a, uh, I always see the heart pattern, so that it's designed not to get much out of the back. Plug this into the USB port. Now the bonus is, of course, if you have a new Mac, which has only USB-C ports, you have this cable, which means you're good to go. Good to go. Because buying stuff like this and being like, well, I guess I can't use any of it, that would suck. So just so you can see, I'm gonna just bring this up a bit. Might be hard for you, right there. You'll see when it gets power, this kind of goes green. You get this green little light there, meaning that it's it's got some power, which is excellent. I'm gonna put that right there. Get in my my pose for doing this. I'm gonna make sure now go into my go in my system preferences here, and I'm just gonna make sure that my audio is for recording is set to use the Mayono Ferry microphone. So we'll put that as input. Excellent. Now, if you wanted to plug your headphones into this, you'd want to make sure that in your computer that you would also set the output to be coming through the mic, but I am not doing that, so we should be good to go. Now, the only thing is I want to test my levels to get them to be coming up hopefully as good as they should, so I'm going to get it up fairly high here and push this up a little bit, not too much. That should be okay. Input levels, I think is golden. And we are going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to bring up Final Cut here one more time. We're going to do another import. All right. I'm going to be using the fairy microphone right here. So just make sure it's in a good spot. Three, two, one. And this now should be recording using the new fairy microphone. So it is sitting, I don't know, about a foot away from me. And the hope is that it is picking up. Well, for one, it would be awesome if it's picking up way better than the computer. Number two, the hope would be that it's picking up just as good, if not better, than the shotgun microphone. So this is here, and just to see how well it's picking up, I'm gonna bring it up even closer just so you guys can hear that. Hopefully that sounds even better. Um, I've got the volume, again, turned up pretty much about three quarters of the way for input, because it's, as far as I know, just from what I've heard, you want that up higher so that you can kind of tone it down if you so need. So there you go. This is the Mayono. I'm going to now, since we've tested it, I'm going to go take a listen and then I'm going to come back after, get a little talk, and we'll see what we think. Yeah, maybe it's good. Let's hope. One of the things to be aware of, I'm just going to put this in. When you get a USB microphone, and this is or can be, an issue, especially if you get cheaper ones. Now this is a mic that is coming in under the $100 mark. So I would consider this a budget friendly microphone. When you get low end mics, one of the things to be aware of is sometimes you can get a USB hiss. If you get that, return it and go get a different one. So I'm gonna see if I hear that hiss on this one and we'll be back in just a sec. All right, hold on. Okay, so I'm back. Just had a chance to actually go over the audio. You've heard it while I was recording it, which is excellent for you. Thumbs up. Glad you stuck around. What do I think? You know, I think they've done a good job. I've seen some of their previous microphones. One of the reasons I actually got this is I used one of their lapel mics and I was really a big fan of it. And I wanted to see what their, I want to say desktop microphone was like. So this is a brand new one from them. I talked to them and they said it had been re-engineered to make sure that the quality was at its highest. And from what I can hear, I think they did a really good job. One of the things that you can't tell is by holding it, it's got some good weight to it. You know, I like the fact that they've made it all black. Uh, it's a nice looking microphone. They've included both the USB and the USB-C cables. So for any of us that are using one or the other, we're good to go. Is it a good investment? Yeah, I think so. It's a, it's a nice microphone. It comes with a nice stand. You can use it either on this stand itself or you can remove this completely and use this as its own stand. 
whichever you want. This, without this piece, would be very portable. You know, throw it in your bag, you won't have any concern of the stand falling off or rattling or banging around. It's all one piece. I'm gonna leave you guys there. This is the Miono Ferry microphone. I give it a big thumbs up. Sound wise, I think it's doing really good. And that's it, that's it, that's the microphone. I don't know what else to tell you. Go get it, love it. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys again later. Have a good one, my friends. Until the next video.